Okay, so uh, I had a dream. It is very sunny outside. Um, that's that's not my dream. Um, so I had a dream, and it's actually really symbolic. So just like stay with me here. Okay, I I went through both of my mom and my sister with this, and it's really it's really important. Um, so I walk in to my Madison gym, right? Um, and I look around. Everyone's sitting down. And by the time I get to my spot in the gym, which is like near the middle, but like not the middle, it's like the spot away from the middle. So each person has like a spot on the floor and I have a spot, okay. Um, it's my normal spot that I have right now, um, but everyone was like bigger. And I look over to the right and I see that we have a, a substitute. He had like um, short hair on the sides and like the poof on the top. I hear people fighting in a way, like they were arguing and pushing each other. Like they were angry and they were best friends. I'm gonna call them JT and MK, okay? Um, um, and they were fighting. Um, and by the time I got to my spot, we had already started playing the game. Either that, no, no. I remember that by the time we got to my, I got to my spot, um, it was already like time for us to start. I was on this side and then the other team was on this side. Okay, so there was like a middle line. Um, so we were playing the game and it was like a new game. Like if you caught the ball and it was actually really small, it was like a ball like that big. And if you catch it, nothing happens. It's like a different form of dodgeball, okay? Um, and I looked over to, to my right and I see CV, that's what I'm gonna call him. And um, he does something and uh, uh, it like makes me like play angry, you know, like um, angry, but not like angry, angry. And so I go like, grr. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, don't, I don't do that, but um, he wasn't in my class. Like he's not in my fifth hour PE. Um, which is like we were older, but we were still in middle school, so we were either seventh or eighth graders. Um, and he had switched over to PE for fifth hour, apparently. And by the way, JT is also not in fifth hour PE. He, he is in 6th hour PE, so he's not supposed to be there either, but since we're older, probably got his class switched. Um, and uh, when we started playing, I look over to my left, and I see JT and MK just sitting, um, with, okay, sitting by the substitute, because by the substitute, there are chairs, like, for people to sit. And they didn't want to play so they sat by him and um you could tell they were still angry at each other but like they weren't talking to each other they were just kind of like sitting with their arms crossed like slouchy and um i'm gonna call this other dude mm okay and he was he's like the middle dude that can't decide which he was lukewarm not like lukewarm in christ but like lukewarm in the relationship he's friends with both of them and he was just sitting in the middle of them so that they wouldn't fight and then while we were playing someone had licked the ball done something to the ball and it had got on my arm because when they threw it i had dodged it but my my left forearm like right there it had still touched the ball and it was really nasty and in real life i do not like gross things so I went up to the coach and I was like, um, can I go get a paper towel or something? And he's like, uh, yeah, uh, sure. Cause he didn't really know if I was supposed to go or not because he's a substitute. Um, I don't know who my actual coach was cause that, that is kind of important, but it wasn't shown to me in the dream. And um, so I went to, Okay, I went down the hallway. Okay, so there's the door, and then there's hallway, and then after that hallway, there's another hall. Okay, so I went into the hallway, I turned left, and then I turned right, and then I turned left again. 
and you can't do that in my normal school like you can go left and right but then you're gonna hit a door and it's not how it was in the dream you went uh left right left and that's how we went into this hallway and when i ran into that hallway i was running okay i was running because i don't i don't like gross things it was this nasty and i can't deal with that so um and i almost ran into this teacher and i know her in real life i'm just gonna call her miss mk um and she was with a bunch of like preschoolers and i could tell that they were like really young okay and um and so she was like okay so she was basically like when she saw me sorry there was a bug on my paper there um uh, when she saw me, she was like, ooh, she, she got scared a little bit, but she wasn't, like, questioning why I was in the hallway, um, like, and then she told the kids that bathroom break was over, she yelled, bathroom break is over, um, she didn't say the grade, but she said, come in, uh, bathroom break is over, so, um, and then they all started rushing, like, in front of me, I turned to the right, and I saw my friend, um, I just call her BB. I saw BB. Um, she's one of my best friends in real life. Uh, and she was just laying on this bench. And I saw her, and she was letting these kids just like uh, literally sit on top of her. And they were sitting like. Like with their legs. Like. You know how uh, women do that, like that? They were sitting like that on her. And they were like these two cute blonde twins. And they were in the same grade as like the younger kids. Um, and they, they were just sitting on top of her like with their mean faces on. And I could tell that they were really mean. And yeah. And I walked by them and um, BB, she um she waved at me but like it was like she was laying like she was laying like all floppy and she just went like you know um i don't i don't really know how to explain it but she was like she was like on her stomach and she her arms were like hanging down from the bench um and then i saw a bathroom and i went into the bathroom and then i see these two girls talking i'm gonna call um i'm gonna call them a h and a c yeah a c um uh and they were just talking and then i go to wash it off because i get a, like a paper towel and yeah i get what i need and i wash it off and then for some reason i go to my logger which <laughs> actually was in the middle of them two talking because they were like right in front of my locker and so uh i get ready to like I open my locker and um, then I hear a knock on the door. Okay, and then uh, A H she goes to open the door and um, then she lets this guy in and then oh wait no while she's opening the door, um, uh, A C she says oh no that's my abusive boyfriend and I'm like what I'm just confused at this point. Um, Okay, so uh, I was confused. That's that's how you would be. If someone you know says, "Oh no, that's my abusive boyfriend in middle school." Okay, um, and he walks in. He's um a kind of overweight blonde guy. Uh, he just walks in like this. Like that's that's his face, and it was kind of. It looked like he was angry but he wasn't letting people see that he was angry. Like if you saw him, you would probably think that he was angry, but you wouldn't be like, oh, he's in a rage, bro. Like he was just angry. Um, And he walked in there and, uh, and these, they were like these, um, uh, these blue bunches with um, like, it was like fishnets, but they weren't thin, they were like, thick 
ish blue blanks blue, blue benches uh four of them in the middle of the floor for some reason and he was like walking in between them and he was like bouncing and then i'm like no get out of here i, I didn't say that but that, that's what i was thinking i i could think in this dream i could feel everything okay oh and i forgot to say that when we were actually playing the game someone threw a ball at me and i caught it and it was actually really cool because i went but it was like a big ball like there were different types of balls apparently and i caught it but i almost didn't catch it and then i just okay and um i just wanted to say that um and uh he walked in and i was not allowed to let him come into the girls bathroom because it's kind of weird because um like there was just a small sign in the door and he was probably gonna just act like he didn't see it and so i just i, I just push him like i did i just nudge him a little bit and then he's kind of fighting it but not really and so i push him and then he doesn't go far enough so i kick him out the door and then i start walking and the kids are still outside for some reason like they're still they're still outside the door i didn't see Bryn when i went oh and by the way <clears throat> when uh after ac said my abusive boyfriend um he was walking in and right before i pushed him um like nudged him really um right before i nudged him he uh you know she called him um s i'm just gonna say s because i don't want to say the actual name because i know someone named s and okay and then um uh, so after i walk out these kids are still going and then I walk back into the um the gym where everyone else is and um everyone's sitting down again like the games are over i missed pretty much everything i wasn't like looking forward to it it was like an okay game but um yeah the games were over um and i just uh went over okay so there were like new people in the class in the, um pe for some reason because in the seating charts almost completely flipped but i still sat in the same place um and there was this girl like left right of me if i were facing the door she'd be right of me um and she and i walked over to her before i sat down and i was like um I had to get S out of the girl's bathroom again. And um, she was like, oh, just, that's all she said. She was like, oh, um, it wasn't like, oh, but it was like, oh. It was like he'd done it once before. Um, and I mean, I kind of know this kid, but I do know and his name is not S, okay? Um, his name is not S in real life. I just I just know it because I know someone else and his name is S. And that's the first F I've, S I've probably ever met. So it's probably not S, but I'm not really sure. And um, after uh, she said, oh, um, I went back and I sat down and then the dream ended. And just so you know, at the end of the dream, it showed me that I needed to get the yearbook because the girl that I was talking to, she, not talking to, but like the girl that I told that S went into the girl's bathroom again, she, um, the girl that was right of me, she, uh, she was a goth. Like in real life, she's a goth. Um, like she has these red streaks in the front of her hair and she wears like black and white it's literally it and fishnets um and so after the dream ended it showed me that i need to get the yearbook because i'm in a lot of her classes and i do not know her name same goes with that guy named that i kept calling s um i need to figure out his name because I, I don't i don't know it um i need to 
it showed me that I needed to get our yearbook because I needed to get to know the names of these people at the end of the dream. That's not the meaning of the dream, of course, but I mean, it was in there. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, my name is Kiana, I'm Sky's sister. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and add something in um, her video. So the locker room she had explained, when she was explaining it, she was like, the first time she had told me about it, I was just listening to like what she was saying and she didn't understand. And so I waited till after she had done was done telling me the entire dream and I was like, Sky, um, I want you to understand something real quick. Cause I asked her a couple of questions first about, um, the room she saw and this room that she had saw was my old um middle school gym i mean my old middle school um locker room and that building has been completely demol demolished she has never stepped foot in there ever and i'm sorry about the sounds in the back is my daughter um so when she had told me this i was like this is confirmation that this is like really really important because and it's really important it's also important that i heard you first because you know i know this part and anyway so i just wanted to go ahead and also add in um my interpretation of her dream just a little part of it and i just want to make sure that people really understand that like these are middle school kids in her dream middle school is from sixth to eighth grade like that is like what 11 to 14 years old or 15 years old and um these kids are you know having fights with the first two people that she saw the next two people she saw they had boyfriends um one was abusive um and when she first explained it to me i was like he sounds demonic like he came in there all just rude and mean and like he owned the place and i was just like that sounds awful and then she talks about um her friend the one who was laying on the, the counter and allowed these kids to sit on her and when she explained like how the kids were sitting it that looks so familiar to me i can't remember where i've seen it before but i've had a dream before when i saw a little blonde girl as a demon and she saw these two little blonde girls sitting on her friend and her, once again these are sixth to eighth graders and this girl is allowing these little kids to push her push over her and like be a people pusher and um i used to be a people pleaser um, for years since I was four years old and that 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 really ruined my life and I just that's why I really really want people to understand like this this is these are kids who are allowing other kids to push push them and you may think it's little may think it's a phase but it's not because I have been a people I was a people pleaser since I was four years old and I finally started standing up for myself when I was 21 years old after I had allowed so much bad stuff happening to me so it's just that's why that's so important to like you know really look at your kids and really see if they're okay because she, then she mentioned this other girl who's goth and 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 seven to eighth grade like come on goth like that's awful so I just wanted to mention that because a lot of people also ask me questions about how is God going to allow people to take, you know, the mark and these kids are taking the mark and they're innocent. Her dream showed right then and there that not every kid is innocent. Okay, just because they're young doesn't mean that they're innocent because there are true life, real life demons in human form that are little kids running around. Okay, so don't just assume a kid is innocent just because they're young and cute and pretty. Bye.